Hi, my name is Tim Raines. I'm a director in Trustworthy Computing here at Microsoft. I'd like to introduce you to the latest volume of the Microsoft Security Intelligence Report, Volume 12. This report focuses on the second half of 2011. The topics included in the report are vulnerability disclosures, malware, potentially unwanted software, trends in phishing, spam, drive-by download sites, and so on. Let me walk you through a few of the key findings. In terms of vulnerability disclosures, we saw vulnerability disclosures across the entire software industry in the second half of 2011 go down 10% from the first half of the year and down over 24% from the first half of 2009. In terms of severity, high severity vulnerabilities decreased 31% from the first half of 2011, continuing a near constant rate of decline since the first half of 2010. Very good news. Low complexity vulnerabilities, however, those that are the easiest to exploit, accounted for over 55% of all disclosures in the second half of the year. Looking at exploit activity, detections of exploits delivered through HTML or JavaScript increased steeply in the second half of 2011 primarily due to the emergence of the so-called black hole exploit kit. Java exploit activity increased overall from the first half of 2011. Detections of exploits that target vulnerabilities in document readers and editors increased in the fourth quarter of 2011. Looking at malware trends now, Configure continues to be the top threat in enterprise environments. We have an in-depth analysis on Configure containing new research on how it continues to be successful in enterprise environments and specific guidance on how to defend and recover from it. On home systems, auto run worms, adware, and now the black hole exploit kit are among the most prevalent threats found. Malware detections in the United States stayed relatively the same in the second half of 2011, while detections in Germany increased over 30% between the third quarter and fourth quarter of the year. Detections in Russia increased over 28% during the same period. There is also in-depth data on over 100 countries and regions in this volume of the SIR. Since many of the customers I've talked to are interested in the so-called Advanced Persistent Threat, or APT, we've included additional data on this topic in SIR Volume 12. You can get the full report, including data from 600 million systems and some of the Internet's busiest services, details on the threat landscape in 105 countries and regions, spam, phishing, drive-by data, and much more from Microsoft.com/sir. Thanks for watching.